All right, so um, how do you feel about the USA men's sevens team being tied with Fiji for number one in the world standings after three silver medal finishes in Dubai, Cape Town, and New, uh, New Zealand? I think it's awesome. You know, I mean, it's great for the sport. I mean, you look at where it's come from to where it is now. Um, you know, we've got a lot of players that, in the, that have come through the Saracens or the Seawolves program that have been part of that sevens uh, circuit, you know, and uh, it's, it, I think it's just great um, PR for rugby, great PR for the team. Uh, and uh, Mike Friday, you know, he's done a great job with those guys. I actually them back home as well a little bit, you know, so... Uh, it, it's great to see what they've done and, and how they've developed over these last few years. And, and uh, you know, yeah, I, I think it's, like I say, it's just great for people to be to see that. It's a different style of rugby. Um, <laughs> it's Some people find that, you know, more exciting to watch and stuff. But, it, but it's a different type of game. And it, but it all belongs together. And I think we all need to be under one umbrella. And, and, uh, and obviously, it suits a certain body type. And some of our 15s guys aren't going to be playing sevens anytime soon. Right. And so, uh, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, but like I say, it's for everyone. And what they've done is, is show another type of athlete that can play that. And certainly, the American athlete even, uh, you, you know, can, can transition into sevens probably a little bit quicker than, than 15s, in, you know. But, uh, you know, they've done very, very well. And it's, it's very exciting, you know, to... I've never in my wildest dreams when I was younger would I even dream that USA would be, you know, linked to Fiji. Yeah. So, I mean, Fiji were always my, you know, the team I was sevens. I loved sevens when I was a kid and I used to love watching it. We have, you know, Serebi who was in town here, Wasabi Serebi, and now he's coaching Russia, and, and uh, Luke Aaron Abula, who's here, and they were my heroes when I was a kid. You come to Seattle and, and, and play against them and play with them here in Seattle, was pretty special. But I certainly, never, when they were playing, it would have been, doesn't, USA weren't even on the radar. Yeah. So, in a pretty short time, you know, you look over the history of stuff, USA have done amazing things. That's cool. 